They're camping out for the sale today. What's going on everybody? Resale Rabbit here. And it's time for part three of the sale. I can't do three like that easily. Uh, so part one, the setup. Part two was the first half. It is now Wednesday, December 7th. Ready for the second half of the sale. We open in 26 minutes. When I got here, this is a first for a Wednesday. Wednesdays are usually slow. This is definitely a first. When I got here at right before seven o'clock, there were already two cars out there. We open at eight. Now, <coughs> 26 minutes before the sale, we get six cars out there. I was bringing shopping carts and stuff out and they've got a bunch of lawn chairs out there holding their places in line. And while I was bringing them out, a lady walked up and asked if she could use her bathroom. We don't offer a uh, public restroom for our customers because you have to go through like our entire back area. There's no easy way to do it without us sitting there babysitting the, the bathroom door. Um, and also we don't open for half an hour. I don't know if she actually had to go to the bathroom or if she um, just wanted an excuse to come inside and see the stuff, see the merchandise. I don't know. We don't open for half an hour and I'm assuming she's one of the people with the lawn chairs up saving her space. So she easily has time to run next door to the gas station. Next door, around the corner. Anyways, so we're basically set up and ready to go. I'm tired. So a quick refresher, if you didn't see the last video, we're well stocked on clothing here. This we brought out um, over the break. Uh, this tree, I bought a pallet of these for a hundred bucks. Uh, they're $150 each retail. So I'm pricing at 40 bucks each. The same special buy stuff that's been here. Some of it you may not have seen like that Christmas tree, the walkers. We've only sold one walker. I might have to lower the, drop the price on those. Uh, desks, really surprised. I thought these desks would be gone very quickly. Usually desks move pretty fast. Um, let's see, the fridge, vacuums, other stuff. This thing, now I don't remember if was, this was this video or the last one that I showed, but it's brand new. I tested it, it works, there's no signs of use, it's just missing the rip fence. So we priced it $6.50 retail, we're at $3.99. More odds than ends throughout here. These sold instantly when I put them out, so, and we found one more. So uh, axes, those are moving pretty well. I only keep, uh, have been putting out one of each. Uh, more odds and ends throughout here, stuff up ahead overhead vacuums toys we're almost out of roblox this is the last of them remember we had like a pallet of them uh these are moving slowly i might have to drop the price on them the batman toys we had like a pallet of these i think i've got four left in the back uh what else i'm trying to see if there's anything else special that i did uh got rid of the pallet of rugs and put the underwear here because the rugs were able to fit under that table and under this table those are doing really well um last i checked it was like six seven hundred bucks we brought in on them and i paid 200 for the pallet um i'm really surprised these are still here those were there since day one uh velcro these all had five dollar price tags on them and i peeled them off and we sold a few of things off of here on seven dollar day um and today's five dollar day but we sell a bunch more um stuff like this the makeup stuff i bet does pretty well today mugs if you remember i bought these at goodwill i'm surprised they're still here i paid four bucks each for them so today i'm not making much but we sold a bunch of that stuff for ten dollar day as well so this display i was expecting to do better not doing so great but we're pretty much ready to go so i'm excited to open so those mini brands balls are a lot i swear i thought i remember seeing them that they were like 12 bucks or something at target last summer when we got them they're not they're three dollars and 64 cents at target um so we had them out on $10 day and quickly realized that and pulled them. We just put out, like after the video, after the photos, didn't even promote it, uh, basket, kind of like what we do in the front for snacks and stuff, full of those at two bucks each. And they're going fast, but that row right there, which goes all the way across, you can see, let's see, I believe they're four, eight, 12. 
Um, 15 cases of 24 each. I think there are a couple buried in there. And there should be some back here on this pallet. Yep, right there's at least one. Apparently $5 is the price point for the diapers because someone cleaned us out, at least one person. The bin was pretty empty, so I'm bringing a whole bunch more out. So the diapers, that's these. These little ones might even be worth it for five. I think these are like four or five bucks in the store, but these I'll happily take five bucks a piece for them. Today is the day, the day that I'm going to blow up at a customer. I can just see it now. I've got customers who will grab an item, change their mind and leave stacks of stuff on top of the special buy items. Drives me nuts. I shouldn't have to clean up after these people. Um, I found an empty package for some bedding, so that means there are loose sheets somewhere in this building. I doubt they bought them, so that's fun. And two carts full of merchandise that were just left and just walked away. Um, yeah, I am going to freak out on someone. It's only 9.01 a.m. and I'm already very stressed. We really dislike having to move these pallets to get outside here, but... Uh, you can kind of see we got four bales of cardboard sitting out there. Having it outside is better than blocking up this area. So time to get this reset. We'll be ready to make another one. So the canopies, those big 10 by 10 canopies, we had the pallet out there for three days, I think. Didn't sell a single one. Nobody seemed interested. So I pulled the pallet to put other stuff there and just put one of them out and it sold that day. So I put another one out and at some point it sold and we never notice that it had sold because it wasn't there uh usually with that type of stuff whoever sells it will page us on the radios and say hey sold it bring another one out um but now they're moving pretty well we're just putting one out at a time so i guess maybe a sense of urgency or something I i'm not sure what it is maybe it's the location on the sales floor but they seem to be doing a lot better individually the tents not so much we pulled the pallet of pop-up tents too and i think we had like two or three of them on the shelf and we have sold a couple, but they're not selling nearly as well. So the tile saw sold, which is good, 100 bucks. Um, a little bummed out though, because I kind of wanted it for myself. I would rather the 100 bucks. But if it didn't sell, I could have bought it myself for like 30 bucks or whatever my cost was. That was the tool palette. Maybe 40 bucks. I don't know, whatever my cost was. Could have bought it for that, but um, I guess I'd rather have the $100. It's a tool that I really don't need, but it'd be nice to have. So I just got something from Amazon here. I don't buy on Amazon often. I was told that I need to buy a white elephant gift. So I bought a white elephant. And in typical Amazon quality, he's chipped, but it didn't happen in storage or shipping. It was glazed over the chip, so it would have been the manufacturing process. Oh well, it's not all that noticeable. There, put it that way on your shelf and you won't even be able to tell. So now, it's lunchtime, I get to show you my new favorite place in town. hy V. It's a new grocery store that just opened and it's so much better than a grocery store. Maybe one day I'll give you a full tour, but it's lunch break during the sale, so I don't have a lot of time. That's a cake shop. And then we've got a deli over here. I got Chinese food. And I'm gonna remind you, this is a grocery store. I can just picture Robert De Niro saying that while grabbing his leg. Cake this. All right, I need to get back to work. So you only get to see this side. Here we go. Look at that. They were much cheaper at Wisconsin Liquidation Center. All right, I gotta pay for my food. And I think I forgot what the code number it is. So we'll find out. Please select from popular items or look up item alphabetically. Eight, 99. Have you
you used your high beat like dual saber look at this this is cheese i kind of want it so normally they give you a little slip that has the the product number for the food i think they ran out of them though and i'm here often enough so he just told me the number and i'm pretty sure that was it the price was accurate so but uh, you pay after you finish eating at the front cash register, which if I were 16 years old again, just thinking about what I did when I was 16, I probably would have been arrested after having 100 free meals. Um, I was going to say something too, and now I don't remember what I was going to say. Hmm. It'll come to me. Look how stained up my pants are. I must have knelt in like some oil or something. I think that was mostly from when I was changing the uh, the cardboard baler. It's, you're kneeling on the floor to run the wire through it, so that's my guess. Hopefully that comes out in the wash. I really don't know why people keep taking this out of the sign. So we ended up finishing at 9,700. Best day of the sale so far, and really good. Wednesdays are normally pretty bad. I'm at home wrapping gifts right now. Look at how pretty these turn out. Except to get there, well, let me show you my shame. Let's see, we've got all sorts of stuff in here, over here, and holy crap, Christmas gift wrap just exploded in here. Most of this didn't even come on pallets. Most of it was 90% off target Christmas clearance at the end of the year, every year. I have a problem. I even have Christmas scissors, although you'll see those in the sale tomorrow. Those are new. Those weren't here for a while. But this I've had for ages, a whole bunch of this Christmas tape. And more ribbon than you can shake a stick at. Though I don't know why you would shake a stick at ribbon. Uh, anyways. Here, let me show you this really cool thing that my other half did for me. She made an advent calendar. Each one of these has a gift in it. You can tell which day I'm on. I do it every morning before I go into work, and it's really hard to not just open all of them. The rest are down there. Most of them are just like a little piece of candy or a little trinket or a toilet bowl motion-activated light. That's my favorite so far. Um, this is probably the best gift that anyone's ever gotten for me, and I bet it costs her a lot less than most gifts that people get for people. All right, anyways. I'm gonna finish up here, have something to eat, and then go to bed because we've got an early morning tomorrow. All right, so we're all set up. I got wrapping paper out. I hate this thing so much. It is so unbelievably loud. Can't hear myself think. Um, this stuff, these should have gone out days ago, but we didn't get really go through the Christmas stuff. Some good Christmas stuff in here. I don't know if people are gonna want these until like March or April when they take the Christmas stuff down, but we're selling them now. We just sold the last volleyball net. We had them in the first sale and they just were not moving. So we dropped them down to 20. We had them for 30, half retail. The first sale that we had them, I should say. And then we had them in the second sale, which was the last one we did, back at 30. And they were actually moving. I was just too lazy to mess around changing the price tags and everything. So, they were moving. We had two left. I put them in this sale. And it took us six, five days to sell them, but they sold. Well, this is what a Christmas sale should be like. The whole sale, not just today. We've been busy all day. It is 15 minutes past the halfway point of the day. And we're over $8,000. For being $3 a day, that's pretty darn good. What are some of our upper sales here? We sold the last two cube organizers, two upright vacuums. Uh, let's see, $400 in the mystery balls. That was awesome. So definitely, rugs are not moving today. I don't know why. We were hoping to have them sold out today. We sold seven so far, so I may just pull them for the next sale rather than dropping the price tomorrow on them. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Um, I think one of the reasons why things that normally sell really well but don't, like vacuums and desks, is because people are spending all their money on Christmas. They don't have the extra leftover cash to buy stuff for themselves. So I think next year for the Christmas sale, we're going to try and focus on gift-type items rather than 
you know, just regular stuff. Hopefully they'll pick up in the next sale because we're going to have enough left over, I'm sure, for the next sale. But um, that's not going to explain the low traffic. I think there was on the radio this morning, there were two toy, local toy stores that were being interviewed. Uh, both of them said that their sales were pretty low this year. So I think that's just what's happening. I was reading that consumer spending is up, but that could simply be because the cost of groceries is, is up significantly and the cost of everything is up. So people are spending more money, but buying less stuff, maybe. I'm not sure. I feel like if this economy continues to go down in the toilet, though, that will actually help us because we are selling stuff discounted. Um, so we'll draw in more people and probably be able to get product quicker because or cheaper because there's less hobby sellers buying pallets um and it's just businesses like like mine or bin stores or whatnot but we just got to weather out the beginning where people are being cautious before we start seeing increases and of course if the economy does better as we saw during the pandemic when everyone was getting that free money we were lines around the block it was insane um so anyways very happy with where we are today so far we should break 10 for the first time in this sale who would have thought it'd be three dollar day another funny thing so far music normally we just play the radio but for the christmas sale i have got an extra iphone laying around that i have hooked up to the stereo and i play one of those like 10 hour long christmas music videos that has like the fireplace in the background um, and with YouTube Premium, I don't have any ads on it, so it's just constant Christmas music. Um, every single day, I just pick out a different one. So every single day, it's a completely different playlist. But we've all noticed that they sound very similar. Tim think, thought that we were playing the same playlist every single day. He said, can we choose a different playlist today? Every day, it's been a different one. Sometimes it's been multiple because it'll be like a four-hour playlist, so we'll have to play a second one uh, afterwards. The one we did last year was a lot better. I have yet to hear Mariah Carey, which is really depressing. Maybe that's why sales aren't doing well, because I personally wouldn't shop at a place that doesn't play Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You. So that could be it. All right, time to go to lunch. I took the initiative to make myself some dinner last night so I can bring some of it for lunch today. It started as mac and cheese, but it expired a year and a half ago and the liquid cheese was kind of gross looking and smelling. And I thought about just powering through it because it was already paid for, but I just couldn't. But the pasta was already made, so I just rinsed out the pan, made myself dinner, and then forgot to bring it in. Oh, and with that rant, I forgot to mention what it was. It's spicy chicken Alfredo pasta. Except it's mac and cheese noodles. I'm really disappointed in these weighted blankets. Um, I think I'm restocking them for the first time since we first opened. I was expecting these to be gone very quickly because it's winter time, so it's cold, and it's Christmas time, and they make great gifts. We sold more in the last sale, and we weren't even really stocking them. It was if we thought about it, we might put one or two out at a time. And somehow we still sold more. We did it. And it's only 148. Oh, I'm not feeling so good. Oh, much better. You don't know if the first one was me or this, though. It could have been either way. So I had to squeeze through here to get back here, and now I'm squeezing through here to dig these out. I'm trying to get a whole bunch of these. These are those books. I'm trying to get these out right now. I just randomly tossed these in here, and look how they landed. Here's an interesting one. I got an email from Pirate Ship about something that we shipped out and charged us an additional $11.89. The dimensions changed from 18 by 14 to 13 by 11 and a half, so it's actually smaller than what we told them. The weight changed from six pounds 11 to six pounds 12. Okay, an extra ounce, no big deal. But they changed the service from parcel select to priority, which is why it would be such a huge difference. If anything, the price should have actually gone down because of that dimension change. I don't understand why they are changing the service. And 
It's not because this would happen if we use priority mail packaging for something other than priority mail, but we don't. We only ship with our own boxes with the exception of the padded flat rate mailers, which we always ship through eBay anyway, so don't, it's not worth the hassle of going through pirate ship for that. So that's interesting that they just randomly decided to upgrade and charge me for faster service. So I just got in here. It is Friday. Uh, we're gonna start $2 day. We're pretty much set up and ready to go. I'm gonna see if I can add more stuff um, the adult diapers, this is it. There's still more, but this is all we're gonna have stocked. Once this sells down, that'll be it. Holy crap, that's loud. We've got wrapping paper. I put these shoes out last night. Some ornaments. Um, down here, I loaded all of this grocery up last night. Um, these things we sold out yesterday and never restocked. So those I restocked. This is it, other than coffee grinders, those three irons are the last of the appliances. Um, Christmas scissors. Special buy stuff is pretty much exactly how it's been. This can get put somewhere. Honestly, if I had time and the energy to move all this furniture, I would probably get rid of all of this and put another row of tables here. Uh, let's see, over here, same thing. We are out of Roblox. This is it for the Batmans. I think I've got six more of these. I just restocked these yet last night. Uh, what else? Rugs. So the rugs, I just made the decision. We're gonna sell these today. And any that are left after today, we're gonna pull. Now, if there are like a short stack of like 12 rugs left, I'll just get rid of them. Um, but if there's, ooh, it's nice and warm right here. It's standing in front of the heater. If there's a whole bunch of them like there are now, I'm gonna pull them. Uh, no sense having them out for dollar day. The mini brands mystery balls were just about out. We've got what's in here and I've got one more box right there. Um, we've sold probably somewhere around 500 of these at two bucks each. Uh, we put these out yesterday. I'm not sure we sold a single one. We just put this big bin full of toys out. I'm still in debate if it's a good idea or a bad idea. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me show you what we'll be pulling from today. So in here, there's just odds and ends in here. There's no specific, this pallet needs to go out or anything. All these long boxes are Toys R Us stuff. We've got a good representation of it out there. The Toys R Us didn't do as well as I was hoping for, but I got them cheap enough where I think we'll probably still be okay. Unfortunately, we can't track how much we made off of it. So it was just guesses. All of this stuff, except for the vacuum, um, is Amazon Smalls that can all go out. Um, and some more Toys R Us boxes back here. This is such a mess. Uh, what else? I think that's it back here. Um, we've got some Christmas stuff. This is marked at two, so it'll go out today. That's marked at one. It'll go out tomorrow. Um, over here, this pallet is designated for Dollar Day. Um, I'd like to move through a bunch of these. These are the funeral wreaths. And we've got random boxes like this laying around from sorting pallets. These never made it out. I don't think they're gonna go out in this sale. We just never had the space. Taking a walk over here. Uh, let's see, this stack is um, like charcuterie boards kind of. So those can go out. We've got a couple boxes of Amazon there. Over here, this pallet, except for the weighted blanket on top, is a mix of Amazon high count stuff, Home Depot stuff, and phone cases. This can all go out today. Uh, we've got a little bit of coffee grinders left there. This is it for those dolls. Um, over here, here's where it's super fun. 
I think the Zevia could probably still go to two. I haven't decided yet. We got Christmas stuff here as well as some there. All of that can go out. I think there's just some Christmas on top of these boxes as well. It's a little bit of Christmas in that palette. And then this palette here is Walgreens, uh, like the two and one dollar stuff, a lot of grocery in there that can go out. This stuff, oh, I see another box. Probably two more boxes of the mini brands balls. Uh, but this stuff is cheaper stuff that can go out. And that is pretty much it. Uh, we got this pile of Walgreens. Of course, we can dig through this and pull fill up boxes to bring out, as well as over here. Yeah, this place is a nightmare. Um, and that's pretty much it. What's this stuff? Oh, this is the pallet Tim went through. So the same thing. We pull stuff from there and put it out. As a result of overbuying and not having a lot of sales, especially in the beginning, we're gonna have a lot of merchandise left over for the next sale, um, which I mean, could be good. That means I'll have a low upfront cost for the next sale. I don't think I'll be flying down to the pallet auction. I mean, our next sale is in like six weeks and two of those weeks are Christmas. Um, so, we got this pallet here. There's two Christmas boxes on top, but there's other stuff under it. Not a lot, just a little bit of Target stuff. These will probably be saved for the next sale. We've got a lot of stuff here for the next sale. Uh, pallets like the bathtub there, which I never even got to go through. Um, you know, Walgreens and whatnot. I think if I bring in a dollar general load, that'll be enough for the next sale. Um, it's about $10,000. So that's going to be nice. The next sale is only going to have $10,000 in product costs. Whereas normally we've got 40 ish thousand dollars in product costs. Well, of bedding and whatnot. I think the next one's going to be a pretty low upfront cost. Uh, these, the bedpans still aren't moving. So I will probably stock bedpans till the end. The Walker baskets, I might stock them today because they didn't really move until $3 day. So two versus three, not that big of a difference. Uh, the canes, if there are any left, those I will not be stocking. $5 was the magic number for that. These are really underperforming. I dropped the price on them. Uh, so these are 300 in the store. I was selling for, trying to sell them for 150. We sold one the entire sale. So I dropped it yesterday to 75 and we still didn't sell any. Uh, so it's 75% off. These are 150 online. I listed them for 75, didn't sell any, dropped it to 50, still didn't sell any. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the walkers. Um, a lot of people always say to, oh, I see another box here, the mystery balls. A lot of people always tell me with that stuff, donate it and take the tax write-off. Unfortunately, I don't get a tax write-off for it. I wrote it off when I bought it, so I, I can't write it off a second time. And if I did take a tax write-off on a donation, I can only write off my cost, uh, the way my business is structured and everything. So I receive zero benefit to donating it. Um, so if I'm, now that's not saying I don't donate things. Uh, we do our donations, um, especially around the holidays, but I don't receive any financial benefit for donating them. I would be better off selling them super cheap, like $10 a day the next sale, which might happen. We did sell one on eBay. Um, I don't know what we had it priced, 100 bucks plus shipping, something like that. So maybe we'll sell uh, some of them. You know, we'll be able to sell some that route between now and the next sale. Um, I don't know what to do with them otherwise. Oh, as far as clothing, let's see what we have left. Oh, wow, we are very low. We've got these shirts and then an entire rack of the exact same shorts, which, I mean, most of these will probably sit until summer. So I have a feeling today we're going to pull in some of those clothes racks. Um just because we'll be running out of stuff. About 30 people to start out the day and one cart left.
we are getting slammed and the one time I can ready to use this, it would really come in handy. The battery's almost dead on it. Just sitting up right next to the freezing cold door, but, so I was up there manning the door because we've got a line. So just making sure we don't go over. And um, a lady says to one of the cashiers, this pill looks fake. And he's like, oh, I don't know, that's weird. So I looked at it and I said, I'll just give her a different one. This was the one that they thought was fake. So um, I educated Justin on it, but I will happily. I'd buy this for a dollar. Silver certificate, 1957, in really nice shape. It's got a couple of little creases, but they're not really creases. I bet if I put it in a book for a couple of weeks, it'd be perfectly flat. That's always fun. Gotta restock the mini balls. I found a few boxes, so what, there was what was out there, and we're up to four boxes. Um, to make matters worse, we're getting slammed like this. And Ben's not here. He called this morning, his kid's sick. He's going to be here, he's just running late. He had to pick his kid up at school. The busiest time of the day. But at least right now we don't need to restock a lot because the tables were full and ready. So at least there's that. It's 10 after nine. Uh, we just put the last of the fruit snacks out. I think we might be taking a loss at this point, but we sold enough where I think we're doing all right. If you remember, I bought that pallet for like 450 bucks. And there was a larger pallet of them in the next auction that sold for like a hundred bucks. I'm a little angry about that. Um, took down a pa uh, rat, one of the racks of clothes. Um, and we're just putting stuff in front of it now, like bins and stuff. What else? I don't know. I don't, at this point, I don't even know what to bring out. Driving home for Christmas. Uh, we are sold out of the mini balls. We may have been sold out for a while. I haven't been keeping a close eye on it, but the basket was empty. We are just about sold out of the Welch's gummies. We are, I don't know where else we are. The uh, scotch Bright pads are doing really well too. We've already restocked it twice, um, like the full display. Blue ones are selling faster than the green ones. I don't know if there's a difference or if it's just color. I didn't look that closely. And it is currently 9.51 a.m. So it's 10 o'clock, we're a little over $4,000, and I just realized I forgot to change the price of the doormats. So we only sold four of them, but those four people paid an extra dollar on them. Three bucks instead of two. Now, hold on, hold on. now they're two bucks. So remember I said the roof, when they redid it, a ton of dust came down? This is the type of stuff that really sucks. Um, we're probably just going to try and shake them out and sell them on dollar day to get rid of them. But a lot of stuff was damaged like that. So I was saying before, as bad as this sale was, I don't know if I said it on video or if I was just saying it to myself as I was trying to make myself feel better. In the last three days, if we do $10,000 a day, we're at least average. Well, yesterday was 12,000 something. And today, 11,835. Yeah, that's twenty-four, twenty-five thousand dollars. Um probably about twenty-four and some change in two days. Yeah, that definitely makes up for the really slow beginning. It's still gonna finish as kind of an average uh sale. But at least it's not a oh sale. And I can still get a paycheck. So uh tomorrow's dollar day. One day left. I don't count bag day as a day because we don't make a lot. It's just kind of get rid of this stuff type day. So it's 6.48. I'm pulling in late this morning. And surprisingly, there's only two cars here. So just getting in, we stayed pretty late last night getting fully set up. So I had nothing to do this morning. So I made, made it a point to sleep in a little bit. Got in basically just in time so I can do the video. And... Post the pictures. Afterwards, I'll take the signs and carts outside and we're pretty much ready to go. I have to say this is probably the nicest, most organized it's ever been to open on Dollar Day. We basically took everything off the floor to try and get people in and out quicker. That way the lines aren't as crazy and we just got stuff. We don't have a lot of stuff to restock. There might be a few more boxes of this grocery, 
Um, we've got a pallet, like half a Gaylord left of plumbing stuff we want to get out of here. It's been here forever. We've got a bunch of Christmas stuff. It's mostly dollar price tags at this point, stuff like this. So we've got a bunch of that. And then we've got probably a half a pallet of Toys R Us toys left, uh, these boxes. So we'll just refill that and then some replens to do yet. So we'll see how the day goes. I have a feeling these clothes racks will both be down by noon. Um, and then I don't know what we're gonna do, if we're gonna even bother putting tables there or what. Um, depends what's left in the back. I think by the end of the day, we'll have some tables knocked down. I think what we'll probably do to try and make it feel a little bit more full is maybe take these out. And as we clear out tables and condense it to the middle, maybe, I'm not sure. But um, there's not a lot left to restock. So that means tomorrow, bag day, is going to be a really short day. These we're selling because even a dollar each is more than quite a bit more than what we pay for mailers. We don't need the fancy shiny ones like that. I'm happy shipping in the plain white ones. Looks like some good stuff. I mean, coffee for a buck. There's some, a lot of this grocery should have gone out sooner, I think. It went out throughout the day yesterday, so some of it was at the end of the day. These did really well yesterday. We've got three more displays like this, so I'm going to save them for the next sale. Um, shoes, socks, and underwear. Part of me is thinking about pulling this. I don't know. Maybe we'll just leave it for now. We'll leave it. We're set up here. Did that faucet finally sell. There was one faucet that hung around for days much later than it should have we got stuff over here still have the bedpans aren't moving i will probably dig through some of those pallets to find more bedpans these i was planning on putting out two for a buck the entire sale i put a handful of them out yesterday and they sold really well at two bucks each i don't know if that's going to maintain for the next sale um because this is like and filled with Christmas gifts and whatnot. I think that might have been the draw yesterday. But nonetheless, I mean, I've only got 175 bucks on the pallet. There are 700 of them. So we'll just probably keep stocking them throughout the day today. I'm in debate if we're going to keep stocking these. Um, at the very least, we'll sell through these. Uh, the books, we'll definitely keep stocking. We want to get rid of those. And this is it for the wrapping paper. Um, most of this... This might be the only one that retails for over a dollar that was out yesterday. Most of this retails for a buck, and we were selling it for two and three dollars. These three long ones are actually mine from my house. Um, I'm never going to use them. I don't like those ones very much, so I just put them in here to get rid of them better than throwing them out. Uh, what else? Towels will probably keep restocking. We've got snacks. I've got a bunch of these, but they expired in August. So I want to get rid of them. So we're going to move them through this sale. We've got socks. Special buy pretty much looks the same as it did yesterday. Straightened it up a little bit. Um, added a couple more of these. And that's the last of those, the last five. I think we're ready to go. So the line is basically wrapped around the building, but this thing really came in handy to get push some people out the door. Might need to perfect it a little bit, but Tim's calling me. It's snowing out, and we've got a nice line of people waiting to get in. Boy, do I love retail displays. I mean, I could literally just put these right on the table, and they would sell just as well. But something about having a nice display like this just does it for me. So the worst way to get a hold of me, if you're a customer, is the uh, honey, sweetheart, because my girlfriend, the only person who calls me that, isn't here. So I'm going to assume you're talking to someone else, and I'm not going to turn around. It wasn't until she yelled, sir, that I finally went, what? I didn't say what, but that's when I finally turned around and realized, oh, she was talking to me. So a customer brought in Frosties for all of us and free Frosties for a year. I don't recognize her. Apparently she's been here. I'm not at the front very often, so I don't get to see customers very much. But I um, was very happy about that. 
I was just saying how hungry I am and this hits the spot perfect. So that's it for the top pallet of these boxes. We're not doing the bottom pallet in this sale. They did really well in $2 days, so I think we're gonna put them out much earlier in the next sale. I'm glad I didn't go two for a buck like I was initially thinking. Um, there are like 350, give or take, on each. It should say on here, but I don't know if it was on the top. There was 704 total. So about 350 on the top, 350 on the bottom. And uh, well, we basically sold through the entire top in one day. Not even one day, I think it's like noon right now. So we just sold two of these fireplaces, two different people. First ones that sold during the sale. And I'm just here waiting at the back door for them to come get them. These were not out the entire sale, but they were out for quite a while. I think day two or three we put them out and this is the first time we've sold one and we sold two. Um, but we did sell three or four of them before the sale. So at least we're gonna have two left back here and one up front. Stuff like that, I love it. It skews the numbers on Dollar Day. Um, oh, I missed it. Uh, but I mean, that's, I think we have it for 250 each. Uh, let's see, 249.99 each. So it's 500 bucks. So basically it's like moving 500 items out the door today. I like that. It makes Dollar Day a lot easier. Well, you can just get a lot of money for one thing. Now, what did I just come here back here for? Not over here. We need sledgehammers. We sold the two that were out there. I could introduce you to the Hammer Brothers. You see there's Jack and Sledge. But unfortunately, just Sledge is going out there. We've got, I believe, eight pound and 10 pound sledgehammers. They're really nice ones. 6,600. Thanks, Rollo, for wasting a label to tell me my update is complete. My luck, because I tend to cut things close, is like I'd be at the very end of the roll and I would have like 12 labels left on the roll and I'd figure out exactly 12 items to do, but it would do that and I would have one missing label. That would be my luck. Look what I just found. That's a box of the mini brands balls. There's another one down here. So those two are gonna have to just wait till the next sale. It was 2.43 p.m. and as of now, there is no longer a line outside and we're done stocking. Um, we got all the Christmas stuff out. Basically all the stuff that needs to go out is out. Um, all that's left, we got a pallet of like graduation stuff, 2021 grad and stuff like that. We just want to get rid of it. So that's going to go out for bag day. I don't know how much of it's going to sell, but we have that left, which we'll probably do tonight. And that's going to be it. It is Sunday, the last day. We don't have a lot of stuff left. So we're all set up. We're gonna let these books go. Some odds and ends through here. It's just stuff. A lot of Christmas stuff. The socks and underwear are mostly loose. I'm sure people will still fill bags with them. We've got some shoes, some books and whatnot here. Stuff throughout here. Some of these boxes left um they're still probably gonna be a dollar each though because it's a dollar each or five bucks to fill a bag i doubt you'll get more than five of these in a bag <clears throat> um let's see these christmas ornaments oh maybe i'll keep these uh but there are still some that i'm not gonna keep these i'm sure people are gonna load up look at this a little palette um, what else? Food. Cheez-Its. These things I'm sure someone will take right away. This looks nice. But I'm not going to take it. I'll let someone else do that. Uh, this I think we'll hold on to and use. Uh, special buy stuff. I'm surprised that tree's still here. It's half price. Uh, just the usual... Let me toss this in a Tim's area. Just kind of stuff. We've got a lot of toys left. These will be gone pretty fast. I'm sure these box. I, I would be willing to bet that this run of tables will be empty in the first 15 minutes. Clothing. This is all we have that was hanging. 
And then we've got some in different bins over here. The plan is uh, we're probably going to be out of here by 10. I'm thinking about two hours. I think as these tables clear out, we'll start by moving this stuff over here, taking those down. Um, and then the stuff along the wall will move in here and take these down. We're going to try and basically what we do is we take down tables throughout the day to try and clear stuff out. These bedpans still weren't selling even at a dollar. That's insane to me. So hopefully we get rid of them. Otherwise, I don't know, Goodwill or something. I did have someone ask about buying everything that was left. I told her, excluding the special buy area, 50 bucks for whatever's left after we close. And I said that'll probably be around 10 to noon, somewhere in that range. But the goal is to get everything out of here. Um, special buy stuff. I don't know if someone offered me half of our prices, if I would take it. Definitely on some of the stuff. We've only got two of these dolls left. Uh, we've got, see this stuff I can easily, either like the camping stuff we're going to save for summer. I've got a whole pallet of these left and the better part of a pallet of those. Um, so those we can just put on the pallet, wait for summer. Uh, things like the heaters. Very surprised the space heaters weren't really selling. Heaters, weighted blankets, stuff like that. We'll probably just, pretty much everything else will just send to an auction. Might hang on to like desks. I'm not going to hang on to the vacuums because we've got like two or three more pallets of vacuums. But desks we can probably hang on to. I've got another pallet of desks in the back and I believe it's these ones. Um, but we've sold through a good amount of them. These look low, but those two behind it and that one are also this desk. Um, these are moving pretty well. We keep selling them and I keep forgetting to keep an eye on it and put a new one out. But when I had the whole palette, no one was interested. What I really hope sells is the last three of these fireplaces. But I would also really like to see more of these things sell because we've got a lot of them and the desks. And honestly, anything that we have multiple of, the desks, that thing, these, those, the bikes, the trees, the weight racks. I'd like to see a lot of that stuff move. We're not going to be restocking special buy with the exception of stuff we're deep in. You know, we'll keep stocking like the blankets. We only have one of the red ones left, but like the gray ones and the cheetah ones, those will restock. Um, these, if they happen to sell through, we'll restock them. Those, I think we've got a few left in the back that we can bring out. The tents, if by chance those last two sell, we're going to bring more out. And the bakery. I'm expecting, I'm not going to be bringing other stuff out, though. Most likely. Um, that's pretty much it. There was a pressure washer sitting right there that's just been sitting there and someone wanted to buy it. So I told him 100 bucks and he took it. It was one of those little handheld ones. So I need to get the carts and signs outside. I need to get the signs hanging up on the wall in here and do my live video walkthrough at seven. I also plan stocking this pallet out. It's all graduation stuff. Just try and get rid of it. I don't want to hang on to it. So this will all get put out between this morning and once tables clear out a little bit. So my other half was out of state for work yesterday. She got back last night and brought me something that uh, really, really makes me happy. Steak and shake. So we open in about half an hour, and that's going to be my breakfast before we open. If you, don't, <clears throat> if you don't know, there is not a steak and shake in the state or for a long ways away. So whenever I go on a trip, I will usually try to have steak and shake at least 14 times. There are a lot of cars out there. It is my favorite restaurant, fast food or otherwise. It is the best. So it was really exciting when she walked in the door with that. Run them down. Go, do, do go, I get a bag? Go, sir. I gotcha. Yes, sir. Yes. You can get a bag. Don't stop for anyone. Good. Excited? 
Yeah. I'm zoomed in right on your face. Annihilate that subscribe button. They're completely ignoring the special buy area. Because the deals are in the bag day stuff. You got bunnies? So this is supposed to be all graduation stuff, but I found in one box these sets of bowls, a bunch of those, and some ice packs. So those are being held back. I've also been saving a bunch of the graduation, like plates and cups, stuff like this, because we can just use them around here in the break room. Oh, I've got a good one here. Uh, someone just left a negative comment this morning. She said, I wish I would have known that you had to stand outside in a line to get in the door because you're only letting in a few people at a time. Lots of exclamation points and weird punctuation in here. Um, I'm thinking she was angrily typing so she didn't proofread. She says, that should be disclosed in your ad as not everyone is prepared to stand outside in the cold and snow. It's not snowing, by the way. It's actually pretty warm. Okay, it's cold, but for this time of year, it's warm. Um, but it's definitely not snowing. Shame on you because there are things... Shame on you because there are things I saw that I would have purchased. Also, unfair of you posting pictures and only letting in a few items at a time. Items are already gone when you get inside. May want to rethink your strategy here. Such a shame. I responded respectfully and I basically said, due to city fire codes, we can only let 35 people in at a time. I said, if we were to let more people in, not only would it be so crowded, you wouldn't be able to walk. It would also be unsafe and we would be fined by the city. And I went on to explain that we don't normally have lines. It's usually just the last day and blah, blah, blah. Um, and something like we don't know how many people are going to show up in advance. So we don't know if there's going to be a line. <sighs> At least this one was more amusing than annoying. It's not like the annoying customers who tear stuff apart in there. Someone just commented on the post saying they drove down the road and they could not find us. I don't understand how it's so hard for people to find us. We have a giant sign that's literally a trailer sitting right on the road. There's always one, two, three more signs in front of the building along with a line of carts crowd control stanchions, and we're like 40 feet away from the road. No trees or anything in front of it. I don't understand why it's that hard. We'll have people who get here and say, oh, I can't find, what door is it? I don't know what door it is. Well, how about the one next to the shopping carts and the signs that say Wisconsin Liquidation Center? Or in this case, the person drove all the way down the road. There's literally a line of probably 30 people outside. Maybe that's the place. So I'm going to clean these off because Tim keeps wanting to put it out for bag day. This is, again, dust from the roof when they replace our roof. So I feel like if I took them and just shook it off in the garbage, they're not going to be perfect, but that's something that we could easily sell on dollar day. That one had a price tag of a dollar, but I think we can get this stuff sellable. Nice and clean. There's some little dust. Some of this dust was when I set the box down on here and that like blew into it. That was, that was unfortunate. Uh, but basically these are sellable, good to go. That took me nine minutes and that includes the time to go and find a mask because it was getting really dusty over here and I wanted to wear a mask. And all that stuff off of it. Oh man, this post gets better and better. So Tim commented on it. He says, everyone else is having fun except for you. Well, at this point, there are three people who did laughing emojis on their comment as well. But Tim says, everyone's having fun except for you. And he did ask my permission to post, to comment that. And I did give him the okay. And then her response is, I did not say that I wasn't having fun. I was saying issues that not only I have. If no one says anything, no one will know to maybe explain or change. I don't need this cheap crap anyways. We are perfectly happy getting cars and houses for Christmas. So first there was a bunch of stuff that she wanted, but now she's so rich she's getting cars and houses for Christmas and this is cheap crap anyways. I really wish I could comment to either of her comments, but I have to keep it professional. But oh, I wanna comment so bad. 
So I really need to learn to um, not drop the pallet while it's still moving. Eh, so it's gonna be fun to clean up. Not drop the pallet while it's still moving. Oh, that could have been a mess. I started opening it, so when I tie these off, I just loop them in, and then I use the pliers right here to grab them and pull tension on it. And then what you're supposed to do is loop it around. I gotta put a little more tension on it, but loop it around a couple of times. I forgot to do that last part. I just pulled them taut and then started raising this. And I heard it just pull off. I'm like, oh crap. I thought they actually snapped it first. So yeah, that could have been a huge mess. So basically this is where I was with all of them. Now you're supposed to wrap this around a couple of times. And that's what holds it. But they were just like this. And there's a lot of pressure here. You know, we've gone through an abnormally high amount of cardboard in this sale. So we just got a comment that said, nice job alienating one of your customers. I won't be coming back. I asked Tim who, you know, what happened. And it looks like in the picture, she's one of our regulars. She always comes on bag day. Uh, she seems nice. She usually comes towards the end of bag day. And at the end of bag day, what we'll do is we'll do fill a cart for 10 bucks once it starts winding down. And so Tim asked her, are you, are you waiting around for us to drop it to 10 bucks for a cart? And he said he'd be willing to give her that deal now if she wants, because she had a cart full of stuff. And he said she seemed a little upset, but it seemed like a nice gesture. And I agree. I mean, for a regular customer, giving them a discount, I feel like that's a nice gesture. We're not certain that the comment is from her, but he has no idea who else it would be. And it kind of looks like her. She always wears a mask. So it's, it's hard to tell what someone looks like with a mask versus without. The only thing I can think of is maybe she was offended thinking Tim was saying that she can't afford it or something. I don't know. It seems like a really, really dumb reason to be upset. So I got a response or responses from the person who was upset by the discount Tim offered. Um, I'm not gonna read them all because there are at least 10 comments on there from her that are multiple paragraphs long. But to summarize, she felt like she was being treated like a criminal and being kicked out for being here for so long, which I can see if you walk up and say, hey, are you just waiting for the $10 price? Or, so she was offended by that and felt that we were trying to accuse her of trying to get away with something, which wasn't the case. But also Tim doesn't have the greatest customer service voice. Um, and even with a good customer service voice, I can see how that would make you feel, kind of like a, a waiter or waitress when you're at a restaurant after they've delivered the bill, stopping by your table again later, just asking if you need anything, if there's anything they can get for you. They might be trying to just make sure you're comfortable. Make sure you don't need anything. Trying to be a good host for you. But it can come off as they're trying to get you to hurry up and get the heck out. So I, I see where she's coming from. And I'm trying to respond in a professional manner. Normally, my rule is I'd only respond once to negative feedbacks and I won't respond again. But this is one that I feel like could actually be resolved. Um, so I have been responding and they're all public feedback, so other customers are seeing. You know, I'm not arguing with her, I'm apologizing, I'm empathizing. But man, is she really upset over that. So it is Monday, we are done. We ended up closing at like one o'clock yesterday, 1.30. We did not do any cleanup, so I'll show you what the tables look like now. There's not a lot left. We could not give away these bedpans even at a dollar each. Just mostly graduation stuff, bunch of trash like this. So I'm gonna go through, clear out all the trash in this and what's left, I think we're just gonna get rid of it. I don't, there might be a few things worth hanging on to. 
like this. I'm really surprised this is still here. We'll hang on to that. Um, the cereal, I'll bring home and eat, bring that home and eat it. Uh, but pretty much everything we're just going to probably give to Goodwill or St. Vinny's or something. Just get it out of here. We did not sell a single bike. At one point we did pull two of them just so we could get a table here and you could walk next to it. Um, I think we sold a couple of the walkers. The desks, really disappointing, but we sold through a decent amount of them. I believe this one, I still have more in the back. This is it for that one. And this one, I've got these, those two, and that one. Uh, what else? These are such a tough sell. I don't know what we're going to do with them because we've got a bunch of them. I thought Christmas would be the time they'd finally go. Uh, table saw didn't end up selling. We've got one of the red blankets left, the one that the package got ripped open. We're just probably going to send a lot of this stuff to auction. Um, that's about all I have to say about that. Uh, these Pottery Barn garlands, I think I'm going to buy them myself and bring them home. Of course, I'm going to give myself a better deal. We've got a little bit of apparel, surprisingly, still left. This was a weird sale, but um, we'll have this all of this cleared out in probably half an hour or so. So we got pretty organized. This stack of boxes is trash. Those are all empty. That's Skylanders. That's This is all these things. Um, these we're gonna save for the next sale. These we're probably just gonna sell off in an auction. This is food. I don't know, probably just donate it or something. Clothing, I think there was 36 pieces left. Home improvement, graduation, and then everything else. And we're just gonna sell these off in a local auction. We've also got a bunch of ornaments and hangers. Uh, I'll probably save at least the ornaments for next Christmas. Some stuff for the next sale. And this stuff can all go on eBay here. It's all factory sealed stuff. Not super valuable, but at least worth putting on eBay. So the grand total was $79,989.65. So let's go down the list. 222 custom amount. We sold an air purifier for 25, 50 bucks for a tower heater. Uh, the last two volleyball sets for 60, uh, 332 apparel items for 1,253. Mind you, when apparel matches the same price as the day's price, it's just going to be a general merchandise item. So on $10 day when apparel is five, it goes in here. On $5 day though, it's still going to go as apparel or it's going to go as GM. On the last day, we sold 207 bags of items for $1,035. Uh, video fact books, 188. We sold 94 of them. We sold 108 charcuterie shelves for 215 bucks. 313 doormats for 887 Now, I don't remember what I paid. I think it was 150 maybe 200 for that pallet. I think it was $150, um, and I got 887 That was a great one. General merchandise, 17,700, or I'm sorry, 19,793 items for 81,238. Uh, mini brands mystery balls we sold 514 of them for a little over a thousand bucks i think i underpriced them they're 390 that one was 399 at target though but i think it must have been on sale or something uh what else kitchen towels we sold 100 of them for 192 bucks shoes we sold 27 of them for 173 dollars we sold 50 snacks for 50 bucks socks and underwear we sold 48 for 210 Tic Tac Toys, we sold 111 for 263 We sold two of the sledgehammers for 50 The Sherpa weighted blankets, here we are. We sold 19 of them for 474 My cost on those blankets was probably, a, uh, I'd guess about 700 And I still have a lot left, and we sold some in previous sales. The 18-pound weighted blanket, that would be the... I think that's the red ones. Yeah, because the other one is a faux fur. So the red ones, we have 510 bucks. Those were left over from last Christmas. We sold two of the fireplaces for 500, an eight pound sledgehammer for 20, a knit throw for 30, a microwave for 50, the Batman Bat Cycle playset. We sold 18 of them for 450. 
We sold a Bissell Little Green for 60. We sold a Steam Mop for 45. Spot Clean 80. Uh, three of the Zing Canister Vacs for 120. A Damage Blanket Basket for 25. A Bookshelf for 30. The Smart Toaster we sold for 100 bucks. I was very surprised to see that sell. Uh, the Poof, we sold two of them for 80 The six-person tent, we only sold five of them for 300 and I believe I spent 700 on that pallet. I think those will do better in the summertime. The Canopies, we sold six of them for 539 and I don't remember what I spent on that pallet. The Camping Pads, we sold 30 of them for 600 bucks. I paid 650 for all of them, and I've got more than a pallet left, so a lot of those left. Uh, the Space Heater, we sold two of them for 60 Corner Cube Organizer, we sold all eight of them for 319 <laughs> So the Corner Cube Organizers, I thought that was going to be a bad buy. I regretted buying them, but I think I spent like 100 or to 150 somewhere in that range. I got 319 so it ended up being all right. Dog Bed, we sold one for $25. Uh, hard Sided Suitcase for 30 Space Heater, 15 Uh Wet dry vac for forty or fifty. Uh, Dewalt table saw two hundred and fifty. This table saw stand sixty. There was another Dewalt table saw that did not sell in the sale. I ended up selling it afterwards to somebody for four hundred and sixty-five bucks more than we were asking in the sale. Um, let's see, a drive wedge pillow, two of them for sixty. The crane truck, we sold all four of them for a hundred. The uh, Duraflame fireplace for a hundred. Air flame space heater for 60 echo gas leaf blower for 60 electric fireplace heater 35 eureka stylus vacuum 100 eureka upright vacuum we sold eight of them for 400 and i think that's what i paid for the pallet and we've got a bunch left over uh a microwave for 50 one of the microwaves it might have been this one was the one that was returned so technically we did not sell it uh, the faux fur weighted blankets, 509 I want to say I spent 300 on that pallet. I'm not certain. And we still have maybe a third to a half a pallet left. Some floor mats for 30 a portable fire pit for 25 The glass top desks, we sold seven of them for 350 Two half cases of paper for 40 The Harry Potter castle playset, all five of them for 150 a vacuum for a hundred, a steam mop for fifty-five, four of the walkers for three hundred and seventy-five. Uh, we've got a lot left. I think they're going to end up in the next sale, really cheap. Uh, let's see, indoor s'mores maker, three of them for seventy-five. A Santa, fifteen. Uh, reindeer, twenty. A polar bear, forty. Mickey sledding, fifty. Uh, another polar bear, twenty. Inflatable Santa with reindeer, 40. Oh, where was I? Inflatable Snowman and Friends, 30. Solo Coffee Maker, 2 for 80. The Jurassic World set, we sold all four of them for 100. So we sold a Keurig for 50. We sold a King Size Comforter set for 50. A Wet Tile Saw for 100. An Air Purifier for 45. Humidifier for 45. Space Heater, two of them for 100. Basketball hoop, two, five of them for a hundred. And I think we might still have a couple of those left. The white desk, we sold five of them for two hundred bucks. The hot, the Hot Wheels Roger Dodger, we sold five of them for a hundred and seventy-five. Uh, artificial trees, four of them for a hundred and sixty. An espresso for fifty. A uh, random office chair that's been laying around forever, fifty bucks. The Our Generation Megan dolls, we sold all 24 of them for 600 bucks. I did. I bought those anticipating selling them on $10 a day for 10 bucks each. I did not plan on putting them in the special buy area, so I did really well on that. Panasonic Microwave for 129 The Patio Tabletop Fireplace for 40 uh, The Palo Writing Desk, we only sold two of them for 100 We've got a lot left. Uh, let's see. I might put one together in the next sale so there's an actual display rather than a picture. Portable fire pit for 50 Uh, the Harry Potter lap desk, we sold one for 50 The other one was the one we accidentally sold for whatever the day's price was. $10 a day, I think. Dishes, $89.99. I was really surprised that, that those sold. And they sold, like, on the first day. Pottery Barn mat, bath mat, three for 60 
the Battle Zord four for one twenty. Uh, let's see a Christmas tree for seventy, a broken Christmas tree for fifty. Uh, landscape axe we sold three for ninety. Uh, comforter set for forty. A light fixture for forty. The Roblox Pet Store we sold all twenty six of them for six hundred and fifty bucks. My arm is getting tired. This is a lot of talking. Rolling metal cart for twenty. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna skip across the onesie twosie items. A whole bunch of this random stuff. The single bit axe, we sold four of them for a hundred. Uh, what else? Splitting mall, we sold three of them for a hundred and four. The super splitter, we sold four for a hundred and twenty. More one off items here. Uh, air purifier, we sold two for a hundred and sixty. One of them did get returned though. And weights. Uh, someone wanted to buy some weights after $10 a day, so I said, I think we had them out until $5 a day and pulled them. I think it was probably dollar day. I told her we'd do it, but it's still going to be 5 bucks each, and um, she was okay with that, and so I just made it a special buy. So that is all of the stuff that we sold. I should have skipped past all the one-off items earlier. It would have made a lot quicker. Uh, category sales. Uh, uncategorized, 16 for 357 General merchandise, 21,000 items for 66,000 And special buy items. I think I counted, said 81,000 earlier on the general merchandise. That wasn't right. It was probably, I don't know, 61,000. <clears> special buy items, 322 for 12,000. Uh, anything else worth noting here? I don't think so. Payment methods, that might be interesting. 1,365 transactions and four refunds on cards. Uh, payment of $58,000 on cards, $25,000 in cash, and that's it. Um, we had one, we had 349 contactless chip, uh, contactless cards with a tap. 966 chips, if you're curious about that, and 50 swiped. Uh, I don't think there's anything else noteworthy here. I think that's it. So overall, the second half made up for it, and we actually have a lot of stuff left over for the next sale. I'm probably still going to need to buy stuff, but not much. So that is it for this one. This video has gone on long enough. I hope you enjoyed it. We've got another warehouse sale in February, February 2nd through the 12th, and I will try to get the videos up quicker. The holidays made things tricky for me. So anyways, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.